The search for petroleum never ends. It goes on around the clock and around the globe. Yet as the world's population approaches 7 billion and more players enter the global economy, demand for fuel is growing at an unprecedented rate. If we do nothing, the cost of the fuel we need to heat our homes, drive our cars, fly our planes, and power our industries will continue to increase. We need options, and we need to start now. You, you, don't, you don't wait till all the petroleum runs out. You have to start now. That's why Boeing is leading the way in the development of a renewable source of energy, biofuels a sustainable alternative to petroleum that meets stringent aircraft fuel requirements and is completely compatible with the existing aviation infrastructure, an investment worth trillions. We really need what we call a drop in fuel. That way we don't have to redesign our whole engines, we don't have to redesign our whole airframes. You put in a distribution system, fill up an airplane, and go. Biofuels can be made from a number of sources, including seeds and nuts, algae, microbes, inedible plants, and forest wastes. Camelina is one of the sources that we use to make jet fuel. You take this Camelina, you just harvest it, squeeze it, and once you squeeze it out, you make an oil. And then you take this oil and you run it through a chemical reactor, and what you get is nice, beautiful, clear jet fuel. Since biofuels are derived from living plants, they're a renewable resource. So unlike fossil fuels, biofuels can be replaced. Just as important, biofuels can help cut greenhouse gases by reducing carbon dioxide emissions. When you talk about biofuels, they have to be done right. We actually were trying to figure out how much energy it takes to take this biomass, to grow it, to harvest it, to process it, turn it into jet fuel. And so we, that's what we call the whole life cycle. Tests have shown that biofuels can perform as well as or better than petroleum-based fuels. During one test flight, the new Boeing 747-8 freighter flew 5,000 miles with all four engines powered by a biofuel blend. Before we started this program, nobody thought we could take a bio-dry fuel and make, make, make aviation jet fuel. If we could, it would be economically viable. What people thought it would take us 10 years, we did in two years. 